Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. For a very long time now, I literally was hiding my entire Eldritch deck. And today's the day I'm going to show you guys my Eldritch deck profile that has won like 20 locals. I've won so many removals with it. Before we get into this video though, make sure we're showing you guys an Eldritch deck profile. So make sure to go get your Eldritch playmats down in the description below. It is the perfect deck to uh, play obviously on the second best deck after Pendulum. Also, massive shout out to Milano. Do it. Who is recording the deck profile? And we're about to do some Eldritch versus Dragon Maid content right here, right now. So if you guys want to see some of that as well, make sure to smash the subscribe button on my channel as well. So let's get started. First things first, uh, I play two a main deck of he Lord Heavenly Prison. This card's absolutely broken. Of course, you want to play three, but also you don't want to draw too many. Two Golden Lord. I'm trying to keep the deck as small as possible to make sure I'm always drawing the insane spells, the insane traps. Like it's this deck is just so broken. It really, really is. So I'm trying to cut a lot of three ofs to two ofs just to make sure that uh, you're not drawing so many multiples because there's just so many broken cards that you just don't want to have any dead ones, but they're also broken. Uh, I'm going to show, uh, so those are the four monsters you play in your deck. Please don't play hand traps or gamma or any of that nonsense in Elich. It's disgusting. It's garbage. Please don't do that. Uh, the only reason you play Chris Elan is simply because of DPE. If DPE did not exist, I would throw this card away in the garbage. In fact, that's what I pulled it out of when I decided to play it again. This card is absolutely ass because uh, you could draw like four Elich cards and then just have like no actual plays. But it's still required. It clears DPE a lot. And one more thing I want to mention is everyone, if you're playing Eldritch, you got to really watch this whole video beginning to end because I'm going to discuss how I actually go like 20 and 0 in the 20 games, how I actually destroy everyone. There's so much knowledge that you guys are going to learn from this video. You guys have to, there's not going to, there's going to be no breaking tables or yelling or there's going to be absolute facts and knowledge and theory that you need to understand if you're going to play this deck. So uh, I can write a whole essay on why, how, why this is, this card especially is broken and why it's bad. But throughout the video, I'll explain as I see the cards I was synergizes with. Next, the actual Elish engine. Uh, I keep going back with uh, 10 in total versus 8. They both have their downsides. But by playing these 8, uh, I am playing these two as well, which means it, once your Elish engine does run out, and it will run out with 3 Scar three Elixirs and 5 Golden Lands, it will run out. But because you're playing more offensive cards like this, then it's like you have more cards that even if you run out of the Elish engine, you just win with the rank 10s. And it does come up a lot. If you want to play another like a higher deck count, I played 45 for a while as well. The only reason you want to play 45, which I'll explain at the end, is if you want to play four Elixirs and six Golden Lands. In doing so, your uh, grind game is much longer. Uh, Elid does have a great grind game, but after around turn seven or eight, you run out of Elid engine, and then your grind game is dead. So at some point, you might want to play more, but I think this is the perfect number. You're playing 18 offensive cards in total, and that's really all you need, leaving the rest of the deck of 22 traps. All these next traps are absolutely broken auto-win cards. So we play five floodgates in the main. Of course, Imperial Order is only good going first, but it's so broken. And when you can com combine it with like four other traps, it's good going second as well when you combine it with a bunch of traps. Uh, don't play There Can Be Only One. A lot of people, and I don't... It, actually, I despise it when I say There Can Be Only One in Eldritch. Eldritch, if, if by turn two, is a combo deck. By turn two, uh, you have... I'll go into the next deck in a bit, but you have no idea how many times I go into these nightmares, turn two, and uh, pop a card, pop a card, shuffle a card, access code. I go access code very often in this deck. Uh, why would you want to uh, stop yourself from doing any of that? And by doing so, you're not allowed to put monsters on your side of the field because Golden Land and Golden Lord are both zombies. So there can be only one stops your Conquistador from resolving, stops your Rakero from resolving, stops your Golden Land from hitting the field. I understand it seems small, but it's really not. It does come up a lot, and you're really floodgating yourself with that. Uh, versus these cards, you don't care about these cards. And I understand, like, yes, you can't Nightmare with Gozen, but, I mean, with Gozen, you can still conquest or your Golden Land, and we have Link 2 Lights for a Gozen match, like, extra cards that synergize with this. Next, uh, the Traps, 3 Strikes, and now the rest of the cards are cards that work with Trap Trick. So, uh, Trap Trick is a massive part of the deck. Uh, I've been playing three for so long, but like I said earlier, you want to make sure you don't have any dead cards. You want to make sure all five are live. You're not playing any Solemn Judgments? Uh, Solemn Judgment, as broken as a card as it is, it's really a goal first card. So uh, we are siding three, but we are not maining it. Game two and game three, even if you're going second, you must play three Solemn Judgment. Because game two and game three, there's a lot of siding patterns and theory that you guys need to know. People will keep siding and Duster and Red Reboot when they go first. So going second, uh, you still need to play Solemn Judgment going uh, going first or second. Post side deck though, game two and game three. Game one is perfect in the in the side deck, trust me. You don't need, need to main that one. Uh, I'll show you guys other cards we choose over it. But next, I just want all blowout traps. So if you look at how many traps you have, all these traps so far, 
they're all for going second with the exception of imperial order that's fine but uh, it's just a one-up all these are go second traps already and you haven't even seen the surface yet they're all traps that if you actually go second they break boards then three dogmatic of punishment uh and then two ice dragons prison all these cards break boards every trap that with the whole gist of this deck is typically you're going to draw two offensive cards with your 18 and three to four of your 22 other traps and you're going to set three four real traps and like three ish uh, combo cards and those five cards that you have are going to break your opponent's board and then your elish engine keeps going and every single turn you have set five set four set four every single turn afterwards uh two more then now these next four traps i'm about to show you guys this all should be very basic at this point at this point everyone's deck should be looking the exact same by the way before i continue please do not play dogmatica cards it is absolutely disgusting it is horrible it is shit the reason why this format milano this format does everyone not play chalice infirm droplets all valor all this stuff to stop Every monster head trap that stops monster effects, stops sword soul in his tracks, uh, stops scythe. All this stuff, everyone plays these card type of cards. Mm -hmm. So why would you play Ecclesia? And like, is there, can anything in this deck be Chalice, Imperm, Valor, Droplets? Droplets I don't, turns. I don't in, think a single thing. Can exactly. Be, yeah. Dro Droplets turns into rush recklessly. So, uh, Chalice turns into rush recklessly. Point point five. So it, it's why would you want them to ha let them uh, Chalice your Ecclesia? You give them a live card. Exactly. You want them to and, turn and on their good your, their cards. Exactly. And post side deck, they don't have enough cards to take out, so they still have to keep these cards in. So don't play this this garbage. Don't play Inspector Border either. It's just going to get hit with all these uh, monster negations. Maybe in different formats, no one plays. There's formats no one played Valor. Uh, like there's in formats, no one will play Valor and Imperm and Chalice and Droplets and, and, and Dark Ruler. That's great. All right, in those formats, you can play Ecclesia, but don't do it. You know, it's it's garbage. garbage. So the last four traps you play are specifically meta dependent. You need to play two deep area in this format. Uh, very simple. Sword Souls most play deck, and it stops them in their tracks completely. They will pass their turn, and when you combine it with a bunch of traps, you're golden. Most important reason is DPE. DPE hard. You could lose to like I'm not joking when I say this. If you don't have an answer to DPE out of your opening five or six, you will lose five to one cards versus DPE. You will lose. You literally will. And there's not many outs in this deck to do it. D barrier is mandatory. By playing D barrier, by playing Curse Outland, by playing Ice Prism, by playing Chop Trick, by playing Okero, now we have more cards to stop the deck, to stop DP. Now, I would say my matchup versus DP is actually solid. Versus the, how it's built. Well, typically, it's horrible. You could drop base DP go, go, uh, barrier called Fusion, and they, 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 they're screwed. Lastly, a card that not many people play, but you don't understand the power of this card, and that is Needle Sealing. So we can't play eight torrential tributes or ten torrential tributes. It's at three, but by playing two trap trick and two needle ceiling, you're really playing seven. And I can't stress enough the power of holding one torrential or holding a needle ceiling while your opponent duels. Of course, you're gonna look like you're kind of interested or like whatever you want, but you don't activate any trap really until you can activate the needle ceiling. Uh, every single needle ceiling does not say four cards. It says two or three because don't forget that eighteen of your cards are monsters, uh, trap monsters or whatever it may be. But you bring up one, sometimes if you have three monsters, great. All right, bring up Conquistador Needle Sling. See you later. It's very important to do this. Combo strategy. Very important. So Needle Sling is vital with Trap Trick. And you want to make sure you have these blowout traps. One more thing I want to mention is a lot of people, uh, this is me especially, when I main decked the Heavenly Prison, uh, there's a lot of times where I realized that it conflicted a lot with Scarlet Sanguine. This is very important for a lot of Elish players. There's going to be a lot of times where a six in your hand. This is my number one trick to you, okay? If you open this card, you must summon it out absolutely humanly possible right away as soon as possible, okay? Even if you have to torrential it away sometimes, maybe try and torrential first on the resolution summon this, but always save Scarlet for the very end of your of your traps because you have like set five. Always summon this out ASAP if you draw it because you want to make sure it resolves so you don't get stuck with the Scarlet lock that locks you into zombies. This is not a zombie. So make sure to do uh, to summon this out right away like it, it's typically if you have a bunch of traps, you kind of like, I'm sure Milano could also relate. Like you have like five traps. Okay. Let's say you're going second here. You have, you have ice prison and five traps, uh, heavily prison and five traps. Uh, so typically, you know, you have five traps. You don't want your opponent to know what you have, right? Milano, like you yeah, don't, so you're going to want to wait till the opportune time to use it. But sometimes uh, you're going to be forced into like a Scarlet and a Conquistador, like a Scarlet. Exactly. That's my last place. Yeah, and yeah, and, and, and that, that'll exactly. stop you, this. So what you want to do is before you go Scarlet, let's say you see a scenario where D barrier can be great if you use it slightly earlier than normal. But like, let's say they go into uh, Moye right away. But you also yeah. have like a hand like a strike. Okay, sure. Let the Moye resolve. Bring out a token. Strike will work too. But as an example, okay. Resolution of the token, D barrier, call Synchro. Uh, effect come out and then every 99% of the time if you have your Elich engine and you know your boy's getting destroyed by Zeus bring Strap out a cursed outland or a scarlet sanguine 
But uh, if you don't think your board's getting destroyed, which 90% of the time it's not, uh, you always set extravagance. 100% of the time. Don't set the mice because the mice stops you uh, from summoning and you're still playing another gold, another Heavenly Prison. You're still playing more Golden Lords. You're still playing more cards that are bad and you're, you're typically going to have so many sets as well. Uh, just play extravagance and because uh, you, you're gonna pen summon up, you're gonna special summon a lot on your on your turn when it comes up. So always do it right away. And now, even if I was forced to like needle sealing, I don't care. Like I got my extravagance, I stopped my opponent, he can attack us, and then you can freely scarlet whenever you want after. So I'm trying to get at is make sure to summon this before scarlet. This is very vital. I'm gonna go on to the extra deck now. Uh, one more thing I want to mention if you guys have any questions about this deck, and I've played there's no one in the world, I can promise you, I've played more Elich in the last uh, 12 months than anyone has in the world. I'll actually put money on it that I have. Absolutely have. So if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to go on my streams and ask me these questions. Because I do play this deck a lot on stream. Next, the extra deck. The extra deck is vital to the strategy. I use this extra deck a lot. As I mentioned, you always have monsters and you have to use them. Kind of treat LH like a half combo. After turn two, turn three, it's a combo deck. So first things first, I play two line, uh, two charmers. I use these a lot. With, uh, so because there, you could go into the light charmer, you can go into the earth charmer with Imduck. You can also go into the wind, the, the 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 earth charmer if you want to, but typically the wind and the light are the best for this meta. Uh, light is there because it goes in and it does come up, but this special is bearing the floor a lot. So this is very important to keep in your deck in your deck because against sword soul when you clear the board like like nothing like breakfast, you special summon their burn the floor and it becomes your negate. Uh, link spider is required for the actual uh, board breaking plays. So when you have one heavenly prison on the field, you have one golden lord and you have one conquistador. That's a very typical play. Don't do rank 10 plays be, uh, unless that's like a be-all, end-all. What you're going to do right away is go Link Spider. You know, Link Spider with the Conquistador. Sometimes you have double Conquistador or Wakero, whatever it may be. Then you take the Golden Lord and the uh, Heavenly Prison, and you go into Nightmare Phoenix. Get rid of the card, draw one card. So you just get a free pop. The Golden Lord specials itself back out. You get Nightmare Cerberus. So you got a free pop. All right, so he's got two free, one, two free pops because uh, you get the draws back as well. And typically, you're discarding an Elish card. And then these go into Axis Code Talker. And then as you can see, this then pops three more cards. So there's so much value going second with this deck and extra deck that people don't realize. These links and these nightmares need to be like in decks that can summon them out and pop for free and make a trap deck, a combo deck. You just need to, to take advantage of them. And that's what really steals games a lot. Uh, that's it for the links. For uh, next, though, I'm going to play show you guys three uh, Digmatic and Punishment targets. Only one Entes. It's really not that crazy. A lot of the times, Entes does get rid of one. You need the Omega more than the Entes. Omega always gets rid of DPE. Punishment is another way to stop DPE, but on your turn. Slightly slower, but still important. You need to, to extract the issues in the meta, find them, and find the solution. So with Omega, with DPE, Punishment, DeBerry, all these cards, we're stopping DPE. Adding Nister comes up as well. Uh, trust me, you don't, like, I understand. If you banish the Entes, okay, but it really, it's not that important. Uh, and then one rank five for Pleiades comes up. And then just because you are playing the level 10, sometimes these, these are better. You do want to go for game when you can go for game. So when you have Golden Lord and you have Heavenly Prison, you, you want to have the opportunity to OTK when you need to. And Zeus is a free interruption. So sometimes this also comes up. And uh, that's the extra deck. Next, a side deck, which is extremely important in this strategy. Pendulums and Elich both share one common uh, factor. And that's that their side deck is better than any other side deck in the meta. For the last like four years because we could play sphere mode and lava golem people don't understand the power of these cards uh they really just win games on its own one lava you just draw one just draw one if you don't draw one against drytron you auto lose if you don't draw one against pendulums you auto lose if you don't draw one against birds you auto lose what are you doing against these decks are you just saying like oh sorry buddy you got the dub if you don't draw one against against sword soul you almost auto lose it's a tough matchup bro you need to see these. Some people are only playing Lava Golem. Are you like, are you stupid? What the hell? Like, I, I will never play Eldritch without this in the side deck. You are crippling yourself. I can't stress this enough. If you don't open one of these six, you lose. You literally, that's what it comes to sometimes. Don't play a Kaiju. A Kaiju gets rid of one interruption, not five, not three. They have five negates. What, do you think you're just going to randomly open Solemn Strike every time? You're only out to these combo decks. I really striked Lava Golem and, and Sphere Mode. And needle sealing and torrential which you guys aren't even playing needles the only one you guys are really playing out of these are torrential so please play these cards please just play my deck card for card don't misplay it and you're gonna win like 10 games in a row i do play the third heavenly prison for uh, going first and three solemn judgment you only like i said you want to put these post side deck always and post uh, when you know you're going second uh i'll explain the side stuff later but you do want to play this going first for sure 
Next, you do need to play two Storm Duster, okay? I can't stress this enough. Don't play evenly matched. Like, it's so stupid when I see some LH decks play evenly matched. Like, what do you... It's a trap. If it's in my trap deck, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, like, what do you expect? Do you expect some perfect world where you're going to be like, oh, yes, I hope it evenly matched. Okay, uh, hey, Sword Soul Duelist, I'm going to enter the battle phase and activate evenly matched. Right. <laughs> people I'm actually not... play evenly matched yeah it's so shit like <laughs> like you have no play when you're going when you're going second you have no play your play is actually to side out all your spells you one card negated and yeah, pass, and pass. That's exactly you're do. so go sec going second you side out all your spells like you side out extravagance you side out uh lord of heavenly prison you side out uh, Chris Atlant, and you play only traps. Yeah, because they're literally, no matter we're going to get negated, exactly. you'd rather just Lava Golem or Sphere Mode and exactly. then set five. Exactly. 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 Yeah, no, absolutely. And then in the scenario where you don't draw Lava Golem or Sphere Mode, you still have five good sets, and you have six to choose from, you just pick the five best one, because chances are you could draw, like, one Conquistor or one Wakero or something like that. So you said five good traps. Dust, so please, against backward decks, all you need is Storm Duster and Solemn Judgment. This deck destroys trap decks. It's inherently a great matchup against control decks. So it's just how LH always has been because of the engine. Uh, barring maybe Dragon Maid, it defeats every single control deck, period. Like, the deck just inherently wins. Uh, Dragon, the only way Dragon Maid is going to beat us, I'm just bringing this up because Milano yeah, loves it, yeah, is it. after we run out of Golden Land cards. And that will come up because Dragon Maids actually have recursion forever. Uh, but please play the Storm Duster. You play these against back row and you're really playing four Storm Duster, not two. And lastly... Uh, all playing a third needle ceiling because like you'll be surprised 80 percent of the decks you play needle ceiling against it's important and lastly two witches strike this card's absolutely wild yeah. uh you play this uh this is another way you could win against sword soul if you don't draw your sphere to lava golem that's fine you just set five they'll win blackout that's fine like you hope they don't but then uh, they're gonna negate something with baron and then you know the resolution is witches strike and you gg is there any way to like chain trap trick to a, a card that negates and then Witch's Strike on Resolution? Witch's Strike? Can you um, do that? I think you can, right? Uh, it's not like a... Um, I, I still don't know the, the how it works with Witch's Strike and Trap Trick. Mm. Uh, I think what I could do... I'm not 100%, but I think what I could do is... Uh, yeah, actually, I could do this. So I go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I go... go Borload, uh, Savage, Negate your, your Trenchal Tribute. So, like, you go Trenchal, and then I'll, uh, I'm chaining... Chilling yeah, you chain Trap, trap trick, trick, set Resolution, this. Witch's Strike. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's the deck, main deck side, and extra. It works incredible. So, card for card. Don't change it. Don't think to yourself, oh, I'm going to be cute and add, like, a card of demise because Pen God definitely never tried this card before. I'm definitely going to try a little Nadir Servant. It sounds really cool. I'm going to try DPE. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add my cool stuff. No, bro, I've tried every single card in Yu-Gi-Oh! 30,000 times over. I've played Eldritch maybe 2,000 matches at Eldritch in the last year. I'm so addicted to Yu-Gi-Oh! It's insane. I play this a lot. This is my job, literally. Just take my word for it. Play my deck card for card. Go on Dueling Book. Card for card, play it. Don't misplay, okay? Uh, a lot of people who play Elish are stupid. They, they think that it's a, now it's a very budget deck because it was reprinted. Uh, they think, oh, it's so easy to play. It's traps, bro. It's, it requires zero brain. No, no. A lot of you are activating Torrential Tribute on like the normal summon right away. No, no. Play properly, all right? Play properly. Don't misplay. You'll win 10 in a row. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out the LH Playmats at Make sure to go check out my boy Milano's channel. Uh, shout out to him for recording the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button here if you want to see more LH content. Check out my Twitch where I duel with this deck live all the time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.